Somebody go, all of a sudden a light bulb went, bang! Isn't that right? ¿Cómo estás, Holmes? Bien, muy bien, gracias. ¿Cómo estás tú? Y tú. Aquí rezando bien rico en nombre. Look at that. Now, that is what people, language, right? All right. That's your wife down there? Just pretend like y'all having some crosswords. Very crosswords. <laughs> But no cussing. And, and put some passion into it and give it to a brother. Dame el favor, yo le he dicho que deje de estar haciendo esa cosa. Oh. <laughs> Am I making any sense? Am I making any sense at all? And I'm not, I told you, I'm the, I am not the most intelligent man on earth, but with Christ, I, I mean, I, it's pretty simple. Look at that. New tongues. And then we get the same people who have never had the experience of being filled with the baptism of the Holy Ghost to try to, to have the audacity to tell us that it's gibberish. It, it is to them, but it ain't to God. No. Amen. Am I making sense? One thing about religion, it will never set you free. Jesus will set you free. So we just got finished reading Exodus 15, 26. You know what that tells me? That tells me that unless people are pleasing God, diligently hearkening to his voice, not keeping commandments to their standard, to what they believe, but keeping it to his standard. He made a promise to his people. Thou put no disease. We, we don't have one disease among us. Praise his holy name. Somebody say, well, how do you know? You don't go to the doctor to get disease, just to, to check it. <laughs> well, I'll tell you how I know. Come here, Tyler. We'll start with the most feeble. Who's supposed to be the most feeble? The old people? Nobody around here with our old people do this. Now, how many folks we see like that who say they're Christians every day? Oh, I know the Lord. I don't want to know that Lord. I don't want to know that Lord. I want to know the Lord that saves, heals, and delivers. Come here, brother Ron. Stand up, brother Ron. Take, take, take the shirt on my back and do like that, okay? How many folk you know like this? You know what this is called? A spirit of infirmity. Isn't that something? Why you think the person still got the infirmity? Because the religious church world don't know what to do about it. We've had people that had slight humps in their back. They got to take it out, take, take it away, just like a pop, just like that. This healing belongs to us because we are his children. It's one thing for you to say to his children, but it's another thing for him to come amongst you. Be in the present with you. And then confirm his word by healing you. That's one thing if you have a testimony, but it's another thing to see the creator of the universe actually come and do it. That's a pretty powerful testimony. Don't you agree? What I'm trying to do is trying to show you you still got a lot to wade through up here. You got to get out of you. Yes, you do too. Because all that what you know and it's not delivering you, you still got to take pills. Amen. You're still diseased. Amen. You're still sick. Get sick every time you turn around. Then something wrong with who you, you, you're trying to tell me we're serving the same God. 
Well, my God is not a hard taskmaster. And, and what I do know about God is, is that when you transgress his law, when you despise and spurn his word, all these diseases come upon you. Yeah. High blood pressure, <laughs> diabetes, oh, praise the Lord, anxiety and headaches and who, which God has delivered us. Now, is God a respect of persons? But he that worketh righteousness, not your own righteousness, See, I'm telling you, there are people that will present themselves so righteous, make you look like pipers, pulkers. Make you look like, man, you're the worst sinners that ever lived on the face of this planet earth. But he that worketh righteousness with him is accepted with him. Isn't that something? So you can either choose to be right in the eyes of man or choose to be right in the eyes of God. And I think the testimony of God is greater than the testimony of man. Oh, let me finish it. And, and by the way, white man, if the Jesus you serving and you still got sickness, disease, and your, everywhere you go got sickness and disease, um, they full of oppression and depression and heaviness. The biggest disease that the church and assembly has today is disease of the mouth, tail bearing, backbiting, gossiping, slandering, bearing False witness. Disease of mouth. Hoof and mouth disease. Huh? You still got all that mess going on in church? You don't know Jesus, but you know the other Jesus whom Paul warned us about. Who he said, if I or an angel from heaven come preach to you any other Christ, any other Jesus, besides the one that I've been preaching to you, and that's what's been preached to us because it sounds like the same one yet in character it's so far from him. Well, Pastor Dow, you pretty bold. What is what God's people supposed to be? Righteous always bold as a lion. The wicked is the one who flee. Righteous always bold as a lion. Now, is that not cut and dry, brothers and sisters? That's just the way it is. I'm sorry. That's, I'm not sorry for being sorry. I've already been sorry once before. Now I'm accepted in the blood. But that's just the way it is. That's why you can come this way, but you may not stay that way. Let me, let me tell you something. If y'all come this way and you still got some of your long-standing issues, then the problem is not the way. The problem is you that is in the way. And I'm not talking about in and walking in either. God said, should not be a feeble person one among them. Then he said that in his word. So whether the world accept it, believe it, I could care less. But just by the virtue of the testimony of the way we are walking shows that God is with us. Is that good, brother? Is it making sense? How you doing, sister? What, what's your name? Vanessa. Hi, Vanessa. Good to meet you. Is this making sense? So if you got stuff that's continually occurring in you, in your body, that let you know you're giving place to sin somewhere. Yeah, because the wages of sin is death, and, and death works in the body. That's the reason why a lot of people pass on before time. Amen. Nobody ever told you that the, the battlefield and the battleground is your body. Amen. Your body. Amen. So when the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walking through dry places, seeking rest, can't find none. He says, I am going to go to 